Um, Didi Mambos is asking a question on my video talking about low CTR and all this kind of thing, right? Now, when it comes to Facebook advertising, there are several key metrics that you have to pay attention to. Now, one of them is definitely CTR. Now, that indicates how attractive is your advertisement to your audiences. So if you have low CTR, when I say CTR, low CTR means if your CTR link click is lower than 1%, then you are considered below average. But nonetheless, we will also link back to your cost per result. As long as you're feeling comfortable with the cost per result, whether it's cost per conversion, cost per lead generated, cost per anything that you're looking at, you're comfortable. I think a CTR is bearable, but nonetheless, CTR, we have some benchmark. I will be running a free training. In fact, if you want to go through, I mean, go to my YouTube channel, you can keep, just type CTR. You have a lot of videos covering that part. But for Didi, if you talk about your CPC, 0, 31 cents, I, I, I don't really want to comment. But if your CTR is 1.69, I think it's not bad. I hope you're talking about the CTR that you're having here is CTR link click. CTR link click 1.69% is pretty, pretty decent. So I think it's good. I mean, for CTR, our we have two types of CTR, right? So when it comes to CTR, one is called CTR all. All means, you know, when it comes to a Facebook ads, there are many things to click. You can click on the profile. You can click on the like button. You can click to play the video. There are many things to click. So basically, CTR all has to be related to all the things that is clickable. So for CTR all, our benchmark is 2%. Now, the other one is called CTR link click. That effectively is the, you know, tracking the number of people who actually click on your call to action button. So that's, our well, benchmark is 1%. So 1.69 is decent. So yeah, if you want to find out more then I mean, Facebook ads analytics and all these metrics is a very, very huge object. I mean, subject is it's, it's a lot of things, right? And I have my own methodology in terms of analyzing. And I think it's a very powerful way. I've been actually sharing with all my coaches and my students and all that. Um, it's a way for you to find out because the whole idea here is you want to find out what you did right or wrong. Because without having that, it's very difficult for you to really either you want to take the opportunity to scale or you want to avoid making the same mistake in the future. So that's kind of a thing that we need to pay attention to.